In this video we're going to be making falafels. They're a hugely popular Middle Eastern food made using chickpeas or fava beans and fresh herbs. We use dry chickpeas and these need to be soaked overnight. Your bowl will need a few extra inches of water on top as the chickpeas will soak up a lot of that water and they will double up in size. Another quick tip is to add half a teaspoon of baking soda and which will help soften them. To prepare the ingredients we remove the thicker stalks and wash the parsley and cilantro or coriander. We chop the onions and we peel the garlic cloves. And next measure out the remaining other ingredients and put to one side. Then drain the chickpeas and remove any excess moisture. I just use a large sheet of kitchen paper towel. And next we need to put in the chickpeas into the food processor and blend. If you've got a small food processor you might need to do it in two batches. And we're blending to a fairly fine consistency. A little bit crunchy at this stage. Transfer the ground chickpea mixture into a large bowl and just repeat the step for any remaining chickpeas. So next, add in all of the prepared ingredients into the bowl and give it a really good mix. For the flour there are a few options. Now you can use either a regular wheat flour or chickpea flour otherwise known as gram flour or a gluten free mix like I'm using here. Then transfer the mix into a food processor and pulse a few times until everything's blended to a fairly smooth consistency. It has to be somewhere in between couscous and a paste. Overworking the mixture in the food processor could cause a runny mixture which is unworkable when you're trying to make the dough balls. And so I recommend minimal processing, just enough to blend the ingredients together. Have the oil heated and ready and with care add in the falafels and one by one as you make them. Now your oil should have been heated at medium high and if the temperature is right then you'll find the falafels will actually cook in uh, about five to six minutes, two to three minutes on each side and they should be brown. Falafels go beautifully with a plate of hummus and topped with a creamy tahini sauce. Or you can try them with a salad and tahini sauce in a pita sandwich. I've popped in a link, so do check out my tahini sauce recipe as well. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.